Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audiences, my fellow Americans. Welcome to the show, Jack Chow on East West Show with Jin E T V. Uh, everybody is been. I mean, it's been. Uh, everybody is uh, kind of uh, mystified by the situation we have, namely DACA, and uh, we had a discussion with a friend of mine, an attorney. John uh, Chang Biang Mark uh, discussion yesterday about DACA and its consequences, its uh, background, and its future, so on and so forth. We're not done, and my audience still wants to see more. Right? So that's why I have friends from uh, other perspective of life. I want to testify if this is uh, well spread news, if it is well accepted, as well opposed uh, decision whatsoever. Uh, speaking of a Donald Trump, the overturn of uh, DACA. So, with me today is my good friend, uh, Chris Nibby, a hero in my mind. He has a uh, credit like a monument taller than himself, uh, has a series of films of uh, uh, Mysterious China. He is a famous uh, director and the producer and the writer of uh, films in the entire Hollywood, and he has a 18 series, 18 film series, a mysterious China. So now it's time to talk about a mysterious United States. So welcome to the show, my dear friend. Xie ni lao pon yu, ai ya mai ya. Ai mai ya, good. That's very good Chinese. That's very standard Chinese. And it applies every situation. That's it, ai ya mai ya. Good or bad, good or bad. Oh my God, that, that I can't understand. I don't know what you are. You, know, you don't understand? Leshe Babala. Aya Maya, Leshe Babala. Is it saying you you were very happy or something? Right, or right, yes, yes. Uh, well, so so. Anyway, okay. I have to guess. Okay. Anyway, welcome to the Thank show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that DACA. Uh, given birth to by president, former President Obama, uh, year of 2011, six years already, and uh, now mm, at the verge of being overturned because uh, our new president, Donald Trump, wants to overturn it and his uh, administration. What do you see as a general picture of DACA, please? The abbreviation for DACA is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival. Mm -hmm, we know that. In itself, this innocent sounding name used by the US government mm -hmm. is actually hiding a human tragedy. Mm -hmm. What kind of tragedy? Because, you see, there are about 800 of so called dreamers in mm -hmm. the United States, and they came here because they're parents courageously left their country because of political turmoil and other problems and immigrated here illegally. No, you're talking about their parents. Yes, one second. As, as to, one the, second. to the but kids, these, though, Yeah, but these kids. They knew, they knew, they knew nothing. They knew they nothing. They didn't choose to do so. That's it. These kids were also smuggled into the country. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the families, with very hard work, and built a life here sent their children to college. Mm -hmm. And all this was done because they were undocumented, but once at a certain point, you need documents, and they don't have it. Mm -hmm. And you see, these people are actually, if you would send them back, yes, they come from El Salvador, from Mexico, from mm -hmm. Latin America, mm -hmm. from the Caribbean, from Asia. From everywhere, yes. From everywhere. Mm -hmm. But if you would send them back, mm -hmm. the kids, I mean, they would have no home. Mm -hmm. They would, they, because they would neither yeah, be yeah. Chinese mm -hmm. or neither be um, Latino or Hispanic mm -hmm. or American. You that see? would mean That's lots of uh, hardships, which we will later on get into. Yes. But right now we're talking about 800,000 in total. Yeah. Those being the kids themselves. Yes. Who, according to my homework, arrived on the average of age of six, mm -hmm. age of six or mm -hmm. something. Uh, starting that very young age, the country is the United States, the United States is the country. 
Right. The home. Home, home yeah, is yeah. U.S., U.S. is home, of course, something of like course, that. Of course, of course. And plus, they do not even speak the language. They know nobody right, right, there, right? right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Now, with the kids themselves, they're talking, you're talking about 800,000 already, and plus there are two parents. Right. There are two parents. And more, mm -hmm. more siblings. And you're siblings, talking about at least yeah. 2.4 million people yeah. altogether yeah, yeah, right. belonging to the right, DACA yeah. group. And even if it's three and four, it doesn't matter. It this doesn't country, matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. This country was built mm -hmm. on people who came here looking for a new future. Do mm -hmm. you know what it means? You know, leaving your home country and come mm -hmm. here in a total different country. Now Think about 200 years good, back. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Now we know that we know the numbers of them. Fine. But now uh, let's uh, let's move on to talk about what kind of people they are. They are very hardworking, courageous people. Uh -huh. There may be maybe some criminal elements there, mm. fine, send them out. But Put them in the jail, send them out, or even no, send whatever. Them, send them I back where they I come from. We don't from. care. Yeah, go ahead. But I tell you, 99, 90, and my conviction, 99.9% mm. of all the illegal immigrants here in America at this moment are hardworking and honest and decent people who want nothing what but do to you create mean by a new life. What do you mean by hard working? Because they all work very hard. Mm -hmm. In menial jobs, there are people who are qualified for much better jobs, but they work in menial jobs. Mm -hmm. And what they do is very good. Let just look at construction, look at... Uh, at landscaping. Uh, landscaping. Uh, restaurants. Restaurants, hotel, all the hotels, service industries. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, or serving the sir, basically service industry, of course. right? Okay, are uh, uh, and also they uh, pick up fruits, doing the yeah, harvest. Yeah, agri agriculture, agriculture is a huge, right? huge, 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 huge. Are they jobs that uh, we have American workers no. want the want the <laughs> no. want for? No, American They're workers that? don't want to do that. Are they in the in the, uh, in the competition, the bloody competition? No, no, no. Like they say, just, no. like uh, back in. Uh, Back in 1882, where the Congress passed the Chinese exclusion law, right. that was because the Chinese workers supposed to be in the market taking the jobs the Americans wanted, right? Now, are we talking about the same thing that, uh, that the Mexicans or Hispanics, they are taking the jobs that the white want? Uh, I think that these 800 dreamers, mm -hmm. which this DACA concerns, are all of them very motivated mm -hmm. because they know their only success is to be a to be the best yeah because one thing is for sure mm -hmm. before they send anybody back they check and if you're good they don't let you go yeah. you see this don't forget this country is a multicultural country and made on the blood sweat and tears of people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And this is the magic of America. And therefore, this DACA Act and any kind of immigration uh, reform should be immediate, it should be settled, and then you will see once you're right, you're right, once you're right. you offer, mm -hmm. once you offer, um, for example, uh, let us not forget that the open border with Mexico was an invitation for mm -hmm. the impoverished Mexicans and Central Americans to come here. Because seasonal work, you see, it all started with the agriculture in um, when they needed labor and labor, and it's very labor intensive. And you see, the Mexicans are, and all these people are by nature very in hard working word, people. Have, in other words, we do need uh, these uh, labor intensive workers. Yes. From time to time to come join us. Right. Right. And there are men and women. When men and women together, they will make babies. Right? That's a, that's a consequence. Fine. That's May I offer you a solution? Yeah. Talk about Mexico or talk about all the Central and uh, Mexico, Central and Latin American countries. Mm -hmm. If people want to come here, like for a agriculture work, you give them a seasonal visa, mm -hmm. costs very little a visa okay, very for, good, very for, good. Mm -hmm. for one year to come here and it can be renewed. 
with the understanding mm. you can bring nobody here because the moment you do that, we'll you'll talk be about there the, we'll crime. talk about the solutions uh, when we have. So, uh, right. Probably want to do the. Oh, that's very good. We'll do the fourth segment, right? But right now we're talking about the time. At the time when former President Obama uh, signed an executive order with the DACA thing. Yes. Do you think that was the only solution before any immigration policies has uh, worked out to? Temporarily hang on, let the kids a way of surviving. Is that is that was that so? Yes, it was. Was that not so? Yeah, it was probably a compromise. Mm -hmm. Because what really should happen, all I illegal immigrants in America should in be enabled to be get a green card. Mm -hmm. Because then, while you go through this progress, you can eliminate all bad apples, and you will have only left a group which is really dedicated and hardworking with high morals and ethics. Mm -hmm. And that will be the advantage for America. Yeah, because right. you see, uh, let us face it, uh, as human beings, we tend to let go when life is so, so easy. And that's why you have the opioid crisis in America. Mm -hmm. That's why you have the obesity crisis, mm. uh, you have uh, all these uh, problems mm. because, you know... Massive shooting, excessive force, police, uh, brutality. black life matter, yeah. or uh, white life matter, uh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, so on and so forth. Okay. All right. My dear friend, my lovely audiences, it looks that we have more than we could handle. And we're, we started with talking about DACA. But going to back into the background, though, we'll find out a, a, a strong reason for, for DACA to be given birth to. When that is given birth for the past the six years, a uh, peaceful mm -hmm. life wa was achieved. And now, once again, we're going to face some kind of a turmoil. Uh, let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll find two things. Number two. Number one. That's our number two first. <laughs> number one, the hardship, suppose, if they did go back, yeah. right? And number, number two, we're talking about what is going on in the United States now that makes people even believe to overturn is right. Something wrong, mm. I believe. Or I'm wrong. Or you're wrong. All right? So somebody, something got to be wrong to let that happen. Right? right. Good. All right. My dear friends, we will be back right away. With me, my good friend, the, uh, Chris Nibby, uh, famous director of Hollywood, and slash good director, slash writer, slash a good friend. Never right. mind. Just a poor Never artist. Mind. All right. Good. Very good. We'll <laughs> be right back, please. Hello, my lovely friends, my dear audiences, ladies and gentlemen, my dear fellow Americans. We are talking about America. We need you, right? We're talking about DACA. Today, the subject, for, I mean, the uh, title of uh, this today's show is uh, DACA and America. Why we put DACA and America together? Because DACA as a program that covers that many, that is benefiting that many, I take as a symbol. And now we're talking about America is facing a huge challenge that DACA is going to be overturned, vowed by a lovely President Donald Trump. And we're in discussion now. With me in the discussion is my good friend, a brother kind of friend from Hollywood, a famous producer a director uh, slash writer, uh, Mr. Chris Nibby. Welcome to the show, please. Thank you very much. All right, very good. We talk about the, uh, the laying out the uh, bigger picture of DACA, and we need to find two things. Number one, what will happen to their life if those poor kids of 800,000 did get sent back? It will be just bad for them. And it's un even the thought of it is unacceptable. 
Mm. There no, should be no discussion. Mm. Because you see, the interesting thing is, America always portrays itself human rights and all these. These are basic human rights. This is a human tragedy of unbelievable dimensions, and it's an insult. It's an insult mm. to a group of people. Do you know where these people come from? Do you think, for example, I give you a very good example. Our chancellor, Madame Merkel, was mm. almost crucified in Germany because she accepted over one, almost 1 1.5 yeah. million yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. refugees. And she was severely, crucially criticized because that number goes to 3% of a German population. Correct. And everybody said she'll never be reelected. And I guarantee you, mm. on, in, in two weeks, she will be reelected with a roaring majority. Because the German people have realized that our humanity demands to do things like this. These are innocent people. If you would hear the stories behind of the illegal, you would cry. These are, you know. <laughs> I admire people with that kind of heart. That's it. Uh -huh. Yes. Every single one of them is my friend. I can make friends with no doubt. I don't even to, 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 to do any kind of a, a protection or defense. I know they, could, they can be trusted. Why? Because they have heart. All right. So go ahead. That's, that's good insert. I like that. I like that. So the hardship is obviously, obviously there. No language. Right? And no uh, friends, yes. no neighbor. Well, and they even, are very stick even together. the water, even yeah. the water, even the climate, even everything. Yeah, the climate is the same. Uh, here is same. perfect. The southwest in California is perfect. Suppose if somebody put me, say, in, in Germany for the rest of my life. <laughs> I prefer California. The weather, prefer California. Yes. Right. the weather is better. <laughs> the weather is better. Right. The weather is better. So you, I wouldn't find I wouldn't find a home there because I don't no, speak the language. No, you would. It's I very nice. I don't speak the language. It's very nice, but and I have no friends, but yeah. except you, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm I'm here. no neighbor, no nothing. Yeah. Right. So well, life no, will be hard. You will always be lonely. But mm -hmm. you see, here they have a communities because mm -hmm. if you look into Los Angeles, the uh, Salvadoreños they live here. The Mexicans live there. They all have their little uh, turfs. Uh, and you know, Chris, I'm, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, because uh, I have a, a list of questions that mm -hmm, I want to yeah. ask, I want to finish right now. By logic, mm -hmm. by simple logic, obviously it is such a beautiful program that covers them many that have problem at least sustained at, uh, 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 suspended at that very moment while while the kids grow themselves right mm -hmm. give them time to perform they had a time to for perform to prove they are the best and then they are selected they are absorbed in the country in the society such a good thing why would people go over term why would there are people who even support the over term so to my question i i ask you already who's wrong you're wrong, I'm wrong, or something is wrong. Something is wrong. The, what have the you wrong? The bureaucracy is wrong. The bureaucracy is bureaucracy wrong. It's who, only a matter of bureaucracy. Who is, a, who, who is a bureaucratic? The government. The government. The government. And we are creating our governments. Mm. It's all very easy. Mm. And it would all be, be very easy if you um, give the people the opportunity to do the right thing, they will do the right thing. Because everybody would rather immigrate here officially than go, you know what it means to have no paper here, no nothing? You are, I can see it sometimes I go to the post office and there are day workers, mm -hmm. they're all illegals. You know, and how, they, they see you know how long does, <laughs> does it take, you know how long does it take to apply for legal immigration from Mexico, for example, to the United States, you know how, how long? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. New York Times did research, and also other two more media did the research, on an average of five to ten years. Hmm. All right, now, so? this is question number one. Question number two. But that's immigration. If you give working visa, visas, if you give work visa, hmm and you don't allow the members of the family to come. And after five years, then maybe you can 
to get a green card or something, mm -hmm. that's then this is fine. I'm talking about a, a visa where you have to get your ID card here mm -hmm. and you are for one year, mm -hmm. you go and right, you, okay. you work. Okay, okay. And then you have to mm -hmm. either apply for re-entry so or go okay, back. Answer my question, please. Yes. To your knowledge, because you uh, you do you do a lot of films, and you go into archives of work so many times in your life, mm -hmm. and you bury yourself uh, literally in the archive. You're, you're an archivist <laughs> about that, right? So what do you see as wrong with this society, with this country, that to have uh, this situation created? I will first tell you what I see right. Mm -hmm. I make a bet with you now mm -hmm. that this uh, DACA will pass, and these kids will not to have to be sent back. Mm. Because there is, w America has a lot of problems, morally, financially, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. But there is a basic sense of honor and decency in this country, mm -hmm. which will not allow such an inhuman tragedy to go on. Because as a matter of fact, it has been going on already too long. Because mm. we think about these kids all the time; they have, they have difficulties to plan their future because they don't know is it going can I stay or not or meanwhile they had to achieve a goal you know how difficult it is when you d when you maybe have never a chance to either achieve or to use the goal you have been studying for it it's a terrible uh, uh, situation to be psychologically in so uh, in other word you're saying that uh, probably DACA will stay yes and the overturn will fail well, fair. All right. You know what? You want to bet a hundred dollar on that? Fine. All right. Deal. Deal. You know what? Every time when you're betting, you wish you win, right? No. But this time, I wish I lose. Good. I sincerely wish I will lose, my dear friend, I my dear audience. I wouldn't bet with him if if I do not have a mind of preparing to lose. You will lose. I would uh, because celebrate the, the losing. Yeah. And the, you see the basic. I will celebrate the losing when not a hundred. We go for some beer, all right. You see, there that. is something about America which you and I understand because mm. we come from total different cultures. Uh. We are very sophisticated and come here and we see uh, people who are totally. But there is one thing you and I always go abide by: humanity. That's it. Humanity. And here, the people <laughs> have had a very good life. Don't forget that. They have had a an, an, an beautiful life. All right. And uh, okay, my dear audience, is, uh, we want to wrap up this segment with the Chris Navy. We went, I believe we went in depth. Okay. The depth of being we're talking about humanity. And for humanity, the understanding is common. It is so common. It is so universal. You don't have to have a same language whatsoever. And just uh, here, everything is here. Human is a human. Mm -hmm. We, a country, even care for street dogs, especially cats, right? Well, we probably want to care about some DACA kids. That's some basic, all right? With me today, my good friend, Chris Nibby, who I'm so glad that I share a lot with. On this one, I didn't check with you, with him, uh, pre-handedly. I just call him and prepare yourself for some DACA discussion. And this morning when I saw this, I was so mesmerized that I, I really believe that I made a good choice to pick him as a friend. <laughs> she I she I I I am I let's, take a, let's take a short little <laughs> nap. Right. Oh, don't kiss me, all right? So I hate oh that. Oh, my God. Right. No even, kissing yeah, even, even, even if it's legalized, don't do that, please. I'll kill you for that. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll be right back. Hello, dear friends, lovely audience, ladies and gentlemen, my dear fellow Americans. Uh, America is uh, really at stake. Uh, we're talking about these for the past almost one week. People are getting so worried. And of course, some folks are getting so excited when finally they hear <laughs> there's something uh, uh, well, they like, right? Uh, 
DACA being a program helping with the uh, kids who arrived in the United States not by their own will, but by their parents because they are too young to have their own will into the States. Now, since then, till now, they probably are grown-ups already. In other words, they, sp they spend the whole entire life, young life, in the United States, getting used to everything. Getting used to everything, even though they might be descendant of somewhere else, say Argentina, say Mexico, right? Say Cuba, say elsewhere. In the by, by, by logic, by logic, they are not. Those are foreign countries to them, right? So, uh, in the discussion with my good friend, Chris Nibby, I seem to have found somebody who echoed with me. And I felt so isolated when I argue with them, with some of my people, my friends. And now I'm having some good time sharing some thoughts. So back to my good friend, Chris Nibby. What do you see is happening in the United States? Because we see those strange phenomena happen every single day. Okay, say. Uh, not long ago, we started with uh, in, 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 in Charlottesville, the white supremacists, right? Uh, the brutal killing, right? And uh, even Nazi signs, Nazi slogans, and even KKK pops up. Together, the white sup supremacists come back. Those are issues that forgotten long, long ago, and they're coming back. A long coming back is the overturn of DACA. Do they belong? Do they belong to the same group, please? Yes, they do. It, 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 you see, <coughs> I think the reason is much bigger because the right wing and 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 all these extreme groups in the end they're they are not, not not important they're only important because the media it looks interesting i mean mm -hmm. you gotta admit the Klu Klux Klan yeah, looks yeah, quite right, exotic right. doesn't mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. but no it's the betrayal of the working class mm -hmm. you see society here in america life was too good too much success i mean Look, everywhere, mm -hmm. even still now, America is admired. The most of people want to come yeah, here. Yeah, so, yeah. But, the but they don't respect the hard work they put up. They no, don't that respect the contribution that the, those people, immigrants, legal or illegal, have yeah, put up. Yeah, no, but, th but this is, th no, but this is different. No, this, th that's not, that's one reason. Mm -hmm. But I think the reason is a, mo a sort of a moral fiber which is not working anymore as it used to work. I agree. You see, there is, a, un I understand, there is a tremendous opiate, opiate crisis, uh, op uh, 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 medicine, medi mean, medications mean, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, The overflow. The frequent mass shootings, mm -hmm. police brutality, and interesting enough, rising rates of suicide, especially among middle-aged white mm -hmm. males, the morbid obesity, I mean, mm -hmm. almost everybody seems to be overweight, the obsession with gambling and the indulgence of emotionally and intellectually uh, cheap entertainment. Good, 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 good. The mm -hmm. American dream no longer is within the reach of the people. The situation has become a disease of despair Together, and hate. they create a culture, don't you think so? Yeah. Right. And I'll give you an example. I want to do one thing to insert it to your homework. You can go ahead and publish whatever. Take Madonna, for example. McDonald. Yes. Right? You mentioned mor moral, morality. Yes. Right? So I hate to say morat morality the morati morality corrupted. Or morally corrupted. Morally yeah. cor cor uh, corrupted or morally <laughs> bankrupted, what, whatsoever. Yeah. I hate to say that. Uh -huh. As a media man, I always call for uplifting. Yeah, sure. But I see, I see things. I see examples. Okay, now, you check your toilet. Toilet. If you happen to keep some of the old toilet paper, 
right? It fits in right away. Bar, bar, goes in. Yeah. Right? Now, you see spaces. You know what I mean? They shrunk. Yeah. The I mean, rolls, they shrunk the product. The, the rolls, the rolls <laughs> shrunk. The rack is still there. The rack is still there. The rolls shrunk. The rack of prosperity now is being reduced, and pretty soon you, it will be like right, this. Right. How you go check with the, <laughs> You go check with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. 34 years ago when I first came, mm -hmm. of course, I was poor then. I didn't have money. Right? So you ate junk I, food. I eat, I eat uh, the combo. Mm -hmm. One combo, <laughs> this big. Yeah. This big, right? I purposely asked them to cut in halves, so half for lunch, half for dinner. Right. And I lived, not only survived, but I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, you go to the same, same restaurant, uh, same uh, McDonald's, you ask for the same combo, they are combo. I, how interesting. Uh, probably this. Huh. Probably, huh. probably this. Yeah, yeah. probably mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Right? So. That's how they keep the same price. Shrinking. <laughs> yeah. Shrinking. Okay. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. Number one. You go to 7 Eleven. You go your soda jar. The jar used to be this. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let's be funny, all right, my dear audiences. Let's be funny. Very Let interesting. I never thought mm -hmm. about this. The jar. Very interesting. The jar used to look like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, now what you see? <laughs> yeah, very clever. Yeah. Same price. This is this is how what it, what looks now. Yeah, how interesting. Okay, they give you a good excuse because you have a cup holder in car, so this part sits in the cup holder, right? But your cup you're talking about a cup holder, my money, right? Very smart. A shrink, I have a, a shrink, wonderful analysis. A shrink of this, wonderful. Right? On a day-to-day -day base, oh. you're talking about 300 million people, right? So you tell me how much money they made. Yeah. Now, Very smart. I'm talking about, I give you a moral issue to back you up. I still hate to say morally bankrupted. Don't use that word, please. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Well. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me for the insert. Though. All right. You like that? Of course I like okay, that. Okay, go ahead. So I have no with problem with you. With everything all together yes. going shrinking, Excellent they shrunk, idea. right, a lot. Yes. Now added with the uh, white supremacies, with the Nazi signs, Nazi slogans, yeah, and the KKKs, and then there comes a, a overturn of DACA. I'm thinking, I really hate to put them into the same group. I mean, to you put the no. overturn. You shouldn't, no, you no. shouldn't. No, no, no. To, uh, to put the overturn of a DACA call to the white sum supremacist group. No, Do no. Do you think they belong no, in the same no, group no, or no, not? No, 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 Okay, no. go ahead. Why? Why not? There, there may be some of them uh, are there, but this is a general. You see, there is a political apathy here. People don't vote. I mean, you know, here, I don't know, the voting is below 50% or something. Over Everywhere else, they vote 80, 90%. So one thing, and there is the apathy here. It's not. Uh, hmm? It's the general disinterest, uh -huh. a general, and. Believe me, I'm really trying so hard to get into the cause of the overturn. What, what, what do they think they deserve to overturn DACA? No, they will deserve overtur overturn DACA without a problem because it will show for both the Democrats and the Republicans that there is some human spirit left there. If one party, uh, if, 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 this, if, they, if one party uh, makes this to lose, uh, then I can tell you uh, that uh, this will be a moral stain on America, which is, uh, which is just another step uh, like the Roman Empire or the British Empire or any other history, vast empires, America, as we know, will come to a sad end. I'm sorry. You yeah, cannot do like why, this. That's why last night when I had dinner, when I was having dinner with my friend, they say if they, if they this time really overturns DACA, there's going to be a devastating 
reputation loss to the United States. No face. No face, yeah. And, and to those who promoted the overturn of DACA, they will probably lose their, <laughs> lose their vote I mean, next election. No, you know what I would like to ask Mr. Trump and mm -hmm. Mr. the Attorney General Session and anybody else of these gentlemen, the mm -hmm. rulers in Washington, mm -hmm. I would like to point out to them if they have realized that their forefathers also came here as illegals. Yeah, there was you're nothing. Right. There was no Indian who gave you a stamp mm -hmm. of entry, mm -hmm. a, a Native American Indian give you a stamp of All entry. Right. Mm -hmm. They welcomed them, and then they massacred them. And you know them. what? You know what? Once I did ask a question, you know what my friend answered me for? Yeah. Uh, oh, they say, oh, that was, but that by then there is no concept of country, United States so? is not was not established. <laughs> And uh, you come over, you come over. I said, are you gl glorifying colonialism? <laughs> or land rush, stuff like that? Land grab, yeah. Land grab, yeah. right? So when you come over and they say, you are, I'm the first one and this land belongs to me. I'm and sorry it to say. belongs to me forever. I'm sorry to say, mm -hmm. as a white man and as a European. Are you white? I think so. I'm you, don't Anyhow, look, you don't look very white. And as a European, mm -hmm. and you know, it was only one vote that German was not the major language in this country here. Mm -hmm. I am very much ashamed what has been done by Europeans to the Native Americans. Yeah. I'm very ashamed. You're and right. it, what has been done to the slaves. You're right. You're right. This is a, 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 a I could go on for hours on this. Yes. But this has also created that spirit of ruling by the gun, because this is what America is doing. Not only did they, when I say they, I say the first colonials. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. When they came over, not, not only did they not have a visa, <laughs> but, but they, are, they were on horseback, the driven, this Indian, native Indians, we are their home going west, yeah. right? That's why they say moving, 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 moving is in the blood of Americans. Yes, yes. That's how the Indians' yes. stories are kept. Right. That's why th the United States so far keeps lots of reservations. That's apology, all right? That's, that is apology. Now, you are saying that, you, 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 you just raised a very good point and say, check their grandfather, grand-grandfather. <laughs> Or grand grandmother yeah. or whoever, did they have a visa? If they had a, <laughs> then did not have a visa, was they one of the colonials? Well, yeah. Same thing. All right. Let's take a very short moment now. When we come back, we would need to find some solution. Right. I promise my friend Nibi to give him his time to talk about his solution. Now it is time to talk about solution. I believe there are solutions. There are better ways. There are a zillion better ways doing so rather than to kick those kids out. Stay with us, please. Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to the show, my lovely fellow Americans. We are lost. We are so lost that I try for three days in a row, talking about the DACA subject uh, with different friends. Yesterday, with a friend of my uh, attorney uh, circle, uh, Chang Biangbark, she had some uh, quite a quite good take. And today, with my artistic friend, uh, That's it. Mr. Very Chris good. Nibby, uh <coughs> artistic political friend, something like that. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, Chris Neeby of Hollywood. And tomorrow I'm going to do a debate in between one gentleman, Mr. Ken Hammy, my good friend, friend for life, and a young kid, uh, Andy Yam. Uh, uh, Chinese. Chinese? No, maybe uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. I don't know. I didn't check. Uh, uh, one of the DACA kids. Right. So let's see how things going on. If we're not done, uh, no, I'm listening to you. If you want more, I can put you more, uh, put together more for you. Like say next Monday, Tuesday, go ahead. 
Uh, no problem. All right, we'll do that. We're going to do something. So to my friend, Chris Neeby, welcome. Once again, welcome back. Chris, I'm going to ask you, I just now I promise you that I'll give you time in the first segment to talk about solution, mm -hmm. right? We out, right? So what do you see as a solution or your solution to recommend? Probably Donald Trump will watch our show. He will like you. I think in the end, the American spirit of fairness will prevail. Mm -hmm. And the situation will be legalized and there will be finally a reform which basically legalizes 11 million people. When you say legalize, you're talking about let the DACA kids stay. Let the DACA kids stay and everybody else who is here illegal also legalize them. That uh -huh. does give them a permit to stay here mm -hmm. and to contribute to the society. It will do America very good to have that new energy and also philosophically and spiritually. If America wants to prove that this is the land of the free and the brave, mm -hmm. then this is the only way to do this. All right, I, I understand the whole thing, and lovely statement that I give, uh, give a big hand. But thing is that, have you realized that there are different, uh, different, uh, different issues, the totally different apple, when you're talking about legalizing the 11 people, 11 million people, because now with the 800,000, they are thinking not to legalize them. So let them do for 11 million, you must be daydreaming. No, I'm not daydreaming because you see, this will never end. And I think it is, it is the decent way to do this mm -hmm. and end something like that and create a situation where these people who come here, many of them come here and actually don't want to stay, but they want to make money here, send the money home. Do you know what a tremendous amount of money is outgoing from these people because they support their families back home? Mm. You see, these people really are the best people from their countries because you see, they, they have the courage mm. to come here. Do you know mm. what a what a dignity and courage that takes, mm -hmm. and they're working on very hard. So please, stop all this. It is inhuman and wrong. It is morally wrong. And if America wants to stand for being the land of the free and the brave, then it's the only way to do legalize everybody who is at this moment illegally undocumented in America. Thank you for saying that, because I for sure, for sure, I truly prepare myself for that. I even brought the uh, poem uh, from uh, Emma Lazarus of uh, 1885, right? So I would like to, uh, you want to do me a favor, you want to read it to my audiences, please? And uh, I, really, I really want to remind our audiences that in history, we had not been a, uh, cruel country, but on the contrary, we, uh, we have been warm-hearted. We have been a harbor for every people in trouble, right? And we had our monument to, 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 to signify that. Uh, by the year of uh, 1876, 100 years anniversary, what we have done for the uh, first 100 years have convinced the Europeans including French. So the French government decided to give us the Statue of Liberty. Decision was made in 1876. So preparation from 1876 to 1882, 1882, 1885, no, 1882, uh, they arrived, the statue arrived in New York Harbor. In preparation for that, uh, a poem was read. The poem is engraved into the basement of uh, Statue of Liberty in New York. Today you go there, you still find it. Whatever it says in, the, in that poem describes the, who we are, who Americans are, what we want to do. And we use the mouth of the lips of the woman, the Statue of Liberty, to tell the rest of the world, we are your harbor. 
We are your harbor. Come to us when you have problem. If you have problem, okay. So that is exactly <laughs> the poem is talking about. Yeah. Can you please do me a favor? I'm really in the emotion of doing it. This is a wonderful uh, statement you have here, mm -hmm. and you see it again uh, mm -hmm. combines with what I said: mm -hmm. the land of the free and the brave. And in the we end, we gotta keep it. We gotta keep it, and this is a very good analogy. I like that. Mm. The, the short poem here mm. I am reading now is called "Nu Colossus." Mm -hmm. We like the brazen giant of Greek fame, unlike which conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name Mother of Exiles. Mother of Exiles. Mother of Exiles. From here, beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that the Twin Cities frame. Mm. Keep ancient lands, your storied pomp, cried she with silent lips. Mm. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free, to breathe free, and live Huddle in peace. Huddled masses, yeah. to yearning, yearning to breathe free. free. Send these, Send thee. the homeless, the tempest tossed to me, I will lift my lamp beside their golden door. That's the quote of uh, the Statue of Liberty. Now, this is very wonderful, you see, and this again fully supports what we both basically agree. He sent these, and she says, she said in her silent lips, keep your ancients, the story pomp, the ancient land. Yes. Right. Send these off your off your teeming shore. Right. Your poor, your tempest tossed, your huddle messes yearning to breathe free. Send these where to me. I raise my lamp beside the golden door. That is America. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.